What's your name? Samantha. Samantha. Hi, I'm Emmett. Nice to meet Emmett's you. a singer, Sam. Yeah, I am an opera singer. You know how to sing? Would you sing for me? No. No, you don't want to sing for me? Are you sure? You want to sing, I feel sick? No. No. <laughs> You're in a musical. What musical? What's it called? Acting like a kid. No, how to eat like a child. How to eat like a child. Yeah. Ah, very good. I'm a firefighter because I got I can tell. Story. I read the Twin Towers every, for some nights. What's the name of the story that we read? Do you remember? The man that walked no, across the Twin Towers. Oh, yeah, the guy who uh, did the tightrope walk. Yeah, yeah. 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 all right. So now it's a movie, but we don't yeah, the movie, yeah. for years. Ah. Five years. <laughs> he is real, I believe. Oh. This is from the real life. You know why today is a really We're gonna help the bad guy to get here. back the lightning because <laughs> they're trying to appreciate all the firefighters that try to save all the other people's lives. Absolutely, very well said. So that's oh. why there's all these flowers here, and that's why there's pictures of these firefighters. These, these guys didn't make it out. It's really a sticker. It's really a sticker. <laughs> Look at that opening. That's a sticker. This is Sam and Charlie, two New York lovely ladies that I met on my on my uh, way to Central Park. And these are their parents. What are your names? I'm Matt. Matt. I'm Kelly. Kelly. Nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you. So, keep singing, yeah? You're gonna keep singing? No. No, you're not gonna keep singing. You have to keep singing. Me too. You too. You're also a singer. That's amazing. <laughs> it's fine. It's because I have to call your agent. I'll call your agent and we'll... You'll be able to watch yourself on YouTube. Yeah, Sam, you'll be able to find this on yeah, YouTube. Yeah, you're going to be on the vlog. <laughs> well, thank you for talking to me. You guys are adorable. Goodbye. It's incredible to see how many years later all of New York is still so united by this day. Uh, I remember actually right after it happened years ago that there was a commercial that showed a New York block and it said, on September 11th, terrorists tried to affect our country and then fade to black and then it would come up again. And as soon as it came up, you saw the same street, but outside of every window and door, there was an American flag and the line read, and they succeeded. So it's like you had these people that were trying to change our country and change the way that we felt about our country and felt about each other. And it had the opposite effect. In fact, it actually united all of us. So it's incredible to see that feeling still alive this far after it happened. So I'm on my way to Central Park, 85th in Madison here, and I meet this man, Alexis. He does free poetry, which is quite possibly the coolest concept I've ever heard. So Alexis, what made you want to start doing free poetry? That's a long story. Uh, I'll give you the short answer. I saw a guy doing this on the corner of Williamsburg about a year and a half ago, and at the time I was in school, I was a creative writing major. I always had a vision that I wanted to pursue a poetry career, but I don't know exactly what that is. Right. Did I need to go to graduate school for it? Should I drop out? I, I, I had no idea. And when I saw him, along with photos, I think about a week ago or so, of someone doing the exact same thing. I, I thought it was like a sign or like a premonition that I should be, at least give it a try. Right. So I bought a typewriter, 
table everything and I was stationed over there mm -hmm. uh, where the bus is. For the first time I was actually on a, on a particular track that wasn't contrived. The reason it's free, it's because I, I, wanted, I want to offer it to anybody that doesn't have money. So children, the homeless, that's the short answer for that. Yeah, yeah. that's incredible. Yeah. I mean, it's honest, I've never, I've ne you know, you say you've seen it. I've, I've never seen somebody with this concept of offering free poetry just for the sake of poetry, you know, just for the sake of the art itself. And you're right, I mean, it's like having a career in poetry, what does that even mean, you know? There's, there's never really been a principled, drawn out way of doing it. Yeah. So, would you make a poem for, for me? Would that be, yeah? Yeah, why not? Yeah, all right. Yeah, for today, I'll do it. I appreciate it. We need a poem from Alexis. And uh, honestly, if you guys are in New York, 85th and Madison, he's gonna, is this where you, where you normally are? This is your spot? And, uh, and then you head to Union Square, you said? Yes. Then Union Square by the train station. Stay tuned. Here in Central Park at what is called the pool, just behind me there. It is very beautiful. It's definitely more of a lagoon though. Lots of mossy, mossy water and like droopy trees. Oh, this is a squirrel on a tree. Definitely one of the most talented squirrels I've ever seen. Uh, we are nearing the end of the New York extravaganza. It's quite sad. I'm missing this city and visiting has not helped. It's helped in that I got to see this city, but it has not, it has not made it so it's gonna be any easier to leave. Um, Yeah, not gonna miss the noise pollution. You know, that's something that Chicago has too. Chicago has a bunch of noise pollution, um, especially in the city. We're not done yet. A Little bit more time before I have to hop in the car and head home. I'm gonna stop by my brother's place called The Daisy on the Upper East Side, 85th and 2nd, if you ever want to stop by. It's one of my, one of my spots. I'm gonna stop by and hang out with him and see the place. And that's one of the places I actually bartended before moving to Chicago. Thank you for joining me on these vlogs for the past few days. Obviously, thank you for watching any vlog, but specifically my New York vlogs. I hope to be traveling back here a lot and hoping to get to do more of these vlogs in New York. And then ultimately, obviously moving back to New York and just mainly doing vlogs in New York. I'm gonna try and find a spot to do some drone stuff, but it is 9-11 and that's, you know, like you have to be sensitive and, and I don't know if that's gonna be okay. So we'll see. Um, but stay tuned. That guy is man spreading times 10. He is the uber man spreader. Another weeping willow. That duck, just, that duck just hopped up to say a quick hello, I suppose. See, New York's awesome. <laughs> I'm just hanging out in Central Park reading a poem and a duck hops up to hang out with me for a bit. It's amazing. As I said, I was reading this poem and uh, the duck felt compelled to come up and listen to the poem, but it is a fantastic poem. It's about creativity and I will put it in the description down here and I'm gonna link to Alexis's Instagram 
also down there. Check it out. I mean, honestly, this guy really has a gift. And I'm gonna, so I'll put the whole poem down there. I'm sure he won't mind, but it's fantastic. And if you're in New York, 85th along the park on the east side at 85th, he's, he's right there. And also uh, Union Square. He said, yeah, Union Square, he's also there. If he's not up here, he's down there. And it's an incredible thing. What it, what, what it actually reminded me of is, what, is these vlogs because he's doing this. It's like, what, what, a, what an exercise for your art, forcing yourself to do it every day for a certain amount of time and just do it, just write, you know? So, and, and that's kind of like part of what these vlogs are for me. It's like, a, it's, it's just create every day, create something and put it out there. So, well done, Alexis, man. Here at, here at the Daisy. What's up, buddy? Here at the Daisy with with the best bartender in New York. This is this is Dom. We're at the Daisy. It's my brother's restaurant. Well, my brother's gastro pub, which is like a pub with food, delicious food. I think I'm gonna be doing a solo show here in Christmas, but it'll be like a VIP show. So like only like 50 people or less. This, up, is, this is Dom. Hey guys. He's a, uh, he's a bartender here. Uh, he's the best bartender in New York. You gotta come to the Daisy. What's your schedule? Every day. Every day. <laughs> you can find me here every day. Find him here every day, whether he's working or drinking. So he'll be bartending the show that I do here. Yep, I'll be here. A Christmas show. Christmas show. He'll be wearing nothing but the suspenders, though. Nothing but the suspenders. <laughs> it's going to be the best Christmas show you've ever seen. <laughs>